what's the stamp that Paul is trying to, to put on, on his teachings? Love. <laughs> Love. I think this is like one of the best chapters in all of scripture. I mean, there, we have a lot of scripture. We Coming from a, a scripture. scholar like Patrick, wow. that says I mean, a lot. It's, that does say because a lot. this is it. This, and uh, can I just read a few oh, verses here? Because they're, they're the best. What do you think? Um, should, we, should we let him? Let's okay, let's let's Yeah. Uh, you know, this, so this is after he's spoken about all these gifts, right? All the, you know, tongues and healing and, you know, all these kinds of things. But, but then this is where he lands. He says, Though I speak with the tongue of men and angels and have not charity, I'm become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I'm nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing." Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. And of course, that's the motto of the Relief Society, right? I mean, that, yeah. what, what better motto is there, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, everything else. I mean, you could have the faith to move mountains. If you don't have love, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, all of these things, you could give away all your goods. You could do all these amazing things. You could win all the medals, right? You get all the degrees, get, you know, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is, and, and of course, Paul is simply teaching what Jesus taught. I mean, that... This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, we love God because God loved us first. It comes back to love. I always love action steps. I always love saying, okay, so now we've figured out the problem. Like I have lots of things going on, right? But what it's an action step to move forward. And I think if in reading any of these verses here, just picking one, like, yeah. you know, suffering long. Okay, Heavenly Father, how can I suffer long more this week? Just picking one of these things is an action step of how do I, how do I gain this love? How do I gain this charity? How do I improve? And it's just rejoiceth not in iniquity, rejoiceth in truth, beareth all things. I just want to bear all things this week. I'm going to be patient. Mm -hmm. Whatever it might be, there are are so many answers, but it doesn't mean we need to be overwhelmed and choose them all at mm -hmm. once. Right. Right. Wow. <laughs> like, right. That's a lot of weight. But if we could just pick one tiny little thing, Heavenly Father, He He loves effort. He yeah. He He chairs, you know, He He strives for us to just give a little bit of effort. Mm -hmm.